kick that governor's door down. In the middle of the state. The people on the extreme sides, their whole job is to spread fear and spread lies. Dave Reichert is honing his stump speech about middle ground. I'm not an ideologue. Hammering home his resume. We gotta get them into a, a facility. As a King County Sheriff. The lowest per capita coverage. And seven term congressman. Are you enjoying campaigning? I mean, I've heard that you don't really enjoy this part of it all, the campaign. Well, who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny. <laughs> the only part that I, that I don't appreciate is the fundraising part. Yet he's raised the most of any Republican gubernatorial candidates. What are the four things you want to fix in 2024? The criminal justice system in total, uh, homelessness, and then third is the economy, which most people relate to high taxes, continually uh, piling on taxes. Fourth is education. When we last spoke, we talked about homelessness. You would even talk about building a bunch of shelters on McNeil Island. Do you still believe that's a viable solution? The point of that, that um, example was to give you an idea that, for me, everything is on the table. When somebody accuses you of being extreme on that position, the idea of shipping people to an island, you would say what? Well, I don't, I don't think any idea right now is, should be off the table. The 73-year-old has been pushed for years by moderate GOP backers to do this. We need to enforce the laws. Despite the math, that has been a party problem for years in King County. I've talked to consultants who, who talk about this all the time, how tough it is for a Republican to get 40% of the vote. Donald Trump lost 74 to 22 and 730,000 votes in the last election. Inslee won by nearly 550,000 votes. Why are you the guy yeah. to get over the 40 mark well, in I, King County? Because I've never, take, I've never taken the butt kicking <laughs> that everybody else has taken. So when Obama ran, I won both times. Would you campaign for Donald Trump or uh, would you campaign alongside him? Well, the one thing I'm not going to do is let um, the national politics drive what's happening here in Washington state. That sounds like a no. You can read that any way you want to. But polling suggests abortion may be the overriding issue for many voters in 24. Reichert, who is pro-life, has been working on that messaging too. Would you support a federal ban on abortion? No, I'm again focused on Washington state. Supreme Court has already decided this issue. This is a state's rights issue. You wouldn't try to do anything as governor to change abortion no, laws in Washington State? No, I don't think any politician should be working toward any agenda when it comes to abortion in Washington State. I remember one of the ads, Dave Reichert, dangerous for America. Will voters believe him? Every year I see an increase um, in the homeless community. With that increase, I also worry for like my safety. Lucy Villa runs a Wenatchee Latino gift shop and clothing store and met with Rikers. What you're telling me is homelessness is not just a Seattle problem. No, um, it has been increasing here in Wenatchee. If he's going to address that matter, I would vote for him. I am a lifelong Democrat. Beth Hancock moved from the west side of the mountains to central Washington. So as a lifelong Democrat, given all the polarization mm -hmm. in the country, why now to vote for a Republican governor in Washington state? Because I think so many things have gone wrong in our state. Crime, taxes, our schools. You know, I think it just takes somebody with common sense and a voice of reason that listens to the middle. Reichert is banking that other middle roaders will also agree here in the center and throughout a state that hasn't been led by a Republican now in 40 years. Let's win.